Hello, I'm Andrew Listen, welcome back to Stellaris, as you listen in part our nation of scientific winterized birds. We are goddamn amazing. We've beaten another fallen empire with with ease. With ease. Uh, so now? I don't know. What do we do now? Well, I do know. We are going to call in another late game crisis. Now, normally they are only once per game, although I do a mod that's changed that. I don't know if it has affected it because it's a save file. I hope it has. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start positioning our fleets around the galaxy. In fact, that would be a bit unfair because I know exactly what I'm calling in. I'm calling in late game crises that I actually know about and I would not like to be like, you know, forewarned about it because I know exactly what's going to happen. So for now, I'm just going to move my fleets back to a midpoint in the Empire. Uh, as for all of you, have we finished producing the next wave? No, in fact, the next wave is far from done. You're all meeting up, I believe. Oh no, you're actually my fighty fighty ships um, that are like killing everyone over here. Sure, uh, go kill more people. How about you? Oh yes, we are moving another fleet and it's another fleet that's going to be over here. Yeah. So we actually have a second fleet being, well a third fleet being uh, put together up here. We've got four fleet currently in development. Let's just let the fleets get a bit together. Now, what I'm going to be calling in is one of the other three eight-game crises. So, we've had the Unbidden, which people say is one of the harder ones. Uh, we were very lucky in that we had people in position to go squish it immediately. I'm going to move you over here and just colonize this planet. Hopefully, I won't use the same two colony ships every single goddamn time. Uh, colonize planet. I hope that that's the right colony ship. I have no idea who's on board it. Um... So we've had the Unbidden. Now there are two of us. One is the uh, AI Uprising. We could trigger that one, although it would be a bit weird because we've actually got the AI being relatively friendly now. I mean, it doesn't mean it won't happen. It just means that there's a lower chance. Although, of course, it won't happen in our game because... One, you know, event can only happen once. Like Endgame Crisis. Uh, it's a shame there's only three of them. There really should be more. Uh, another one is the... Prithorian Scourge. I've always known as Exogalactic Invaders. I've always known, uh, at least to me, as Tyranids. Um, after the 40k Tyranids. So that one basically is, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, they're coming from another galaxy, which is basically what happens when you call in this event. And it's the one we're going to call in ourselves. So I'm just going to let our fleets move a little bit closer to the galactic core. Why is the known in charge of this fleet? This keeps happening to me. All right, Pav. Sir Roderick, yeah, I don't know why that is, but you keep un... Uh, I was about to say unfriending. It's not really the right term I was going for. Unfriending the fleet, yes, that is exactly how it works. It's total, like, common naval parlance. I'm really hoping the extra like, invaders come in, like, over here in the Interstellar Manjetti League. That way I can't really do much about them until they punch through. Because they won't give me military access. I can always go to war with them, I guess. But no, I need to be Federation president for that. Hmm. Uh, interestingly, by the way, they are changing how federations work. I'm so happy. They're making it uh, vote. They're making it uh, no maintenance for the Federation ships. But there's a Federation ship cap. So it means that the Federation won't instantly scrap Federation ships. Uh, it's just... Oh, I really... I'm so happy they're changing it. Still think that it needs to be fa something fancier than Alliance. Because at the moment it's just a kind of slightly better Alliance. Because you can build ships. Which is a bit meh. Especially when you build ships that the Federation then takes control of. Like, I don't see the point in that. I can use them better than the AI I can. Uh, they have no maintenance. Yeah, sure, that's a plus point. It's not as if I really worry about maintenance at this point in the game, but maybe in mid-game it's okay. All right, you're still traveling. Um, but I don't know. I kind of look for something a bit more in a Federation. Like, when I think of Federation, I think of the Star Trek Federation. Like, you know, big, grand alliance, and they all function together and have similar goals and stuff. And I think that you should have policies that apply across the Federation, or the ability to vote on the fact that policies get applied across the entire Federation. So that, you know, because the Federations have to be very similar in their policies and their ethics. I mean, you think of the Star Trek Federation, it's got the whole Prime Directive thing. Like, you know, Federation-wide, let's ban tampering with... What, is it? what do they call it? Policies. Uh, native Enlightened, Native Interference, that sort of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, Time Project, oh no, missing resources, I can't really do much about that. Oh no, resource storage full, that's terrible. Uh, how are you doing? You basically in position. Um, you probably need to do one more jump before we can really consider you being in position. And you are almost in position as well. Awesome. 
And I think as soon as you're there, that's actually going to be another fleet. Sweet. Very variable in the toughness of our different fleets, but... Oh, I think that's just battleships done, because all three of them got done at the same point, and all the same strength. I don't know why sometimes when I, like... Can I just... Okay, I swear I did that a second ago. There we go. It didn't select it. Very odd. So yeah, we've got three battleships, eight cruisers, six destroyers, and 14 corvettes. That's way heavy in the capital ship section. Uh, but sure. Um, you are now my third fleet. I'm going to actually rename these fleets. Let's see in the third fleet. Um... Wipe out the stuff up here, and then we'll get you to come down and join with the third fleet. You are the Elysian. I'd prefer you to be the first fleet because you're largest, but I'm going to call you the second since that's where you're going to be in the rankings on the side. Fleet. And then you're going to be the Elysian first fleet. Yep, murderize those. Engaged. And then we'll send someone to this ocean world. Colonize. And I know I'm sending the xenophobes, but... Eh. I'm a terrible human being, what can I say? Oh, I'm a terrible Elysian, maybe. Uh, Alright, let's get someone over here, and then we'll go over here. And then I think we're good. Oh, actually, we could go for someone here. There's, yeah, the ocean world here we'd like to clear out. Three times speed. Okay, murder time. What are you? Crystals. Meh. Oh, man, Jetty United. Let's look at those factions. Right. Armageddon Liberator. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's, it's you. Um, yeah. The, uh, the Fallen Empire. Right, let's do integration campaign all the way up to the max. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Right, jump me over here. It'd be quick if we just headed out this one, but sure. Oh, oh. Wait, I thought something was happening for a moment. There's this long pause. Do, do, do. I've not actually seen the AI uh, uprising yet. This is one event I haven't seen because I'm always like, ooh, AI, sure, have brights and stuff. I don't see a bad side to that. Maybe I'm just naive. Colony established. I'm colonizing these just so I can, like, fill the area. Hostile fleet engaged. Ah, oh, didums. They blow up so easily. Right, and let's kill uh, you. And then we're done. Uh, ooh. Desert world. Colonize. 70% no. 50% no. Oh, it's 70% because it's got this. Yeah. Minus 10% habitability. Sure, okay. Um, do whatever you want to do. Oh, goody. I have now to worry about... Aha! Oh! I thought it was places that have been uh, absorbed into my empire because I uh, colonized them. But no, no. It's actually... Uh, we finished an integration. Right. Where are you going? You should probably go in the solar sector. Oh, those poor worlds there. Finish. Um, I guess who do we try and absorb? I guess we absorb you. Integrate subject. It's going to take ages, like 40 years, but. Construction complete.
Did I send someone here over here already? I can't remember. I don't think I did. In orbit around Paragima. Yeah, you can go here. I'm pretty sure I haven't sent anyone here yet. Maybe I did. It's another ocean world. Colonize. Moving. Orbit. There we go. I realize I'm sending fanatic xenophobes. Like, I'm at the stage of the game where I'm like, I don't care. They're not really going to do much anyway because factions aren't currently a massive threat unless you, like, let them develop for a long time. Like, at the moment, I don't feel they're uh, going to do anything to us. We're really strong anyway, so. Right, now, I want you to merge with the Elysian Second Fleet so that they've got extra destroyers and corvettes. You'll probably need to upgrade as well. But for now, you should just uh, join up. I mean, we should probably get you to, like, science around, but, man, yeah. We'll get you to upgrade for now. Uh, and I believe we should be good to call in, let's see, event. Uh, I think it is Crisis 99. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Coming storm. A mysterious cluster of subspace... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me actually speak properly. A mysterious cluster of subspace contacts has detected on an approach vector within our galaxy. It would appear we're about to receive visitors. Breach point. Oh, hello. We can't get to that sector as far as I'm aware. Uh, can we, like, jump anyone over there? Yes, we can. Okay, we can jump through your system. In which case, I'm going to jump a construction ship over there. Uh, maybe not that one. What's our nearest construction ship? Okay, I want all my construction ships over here. I want you to jump over here. Any construction ships in range, I want to bolster my defenses. What we're going to do is we're going to build defense stations all along this edge. I can't really do much about the Menjeti League. The first wave. We receive word that several outlying systems along the galactic realm are being overrun by some sort of invasion force. This appears to be the source of the subspace echoes we detect approaching our galaxy. What are we encountering now is only the vanguard. The main body of the contacts is yet to arrive. Reports have so far been confused, but the ships used by the invaders appear organic in nature and do not respond to hails. Our entire galaxy may be facing an invasion of unprecedented scope. These creatures must be studied closer. Right, we get the Scourge of the Void event chain. Okay. No, uh, no further notes on that. Well, let's find out what's going on. Probably as soon as I jump the colony, the construction ship in there, we'll find out, and it'll be something hideous. Research I'm so glad they appeared here. Right, what is it? Power plant. Nice. I mean, I could go upgrade them and some of my planets. I'm sure some people are like you should upgrade the ones at your planets. It's case if I don't really need to. Um, I'm not even really. Touching the back of my energy source right now. Uh, source supply. Um, what do I need? I mean, construction time. Uh, so, well, we should do subspace sensors. We actually could do that. We need to upgrade our ship sensors. It's one of the things we've got to do. So, yeah. I think that and impulse drives is the only thing we really need right now. And if we discover crystalline plating, sure, but I don't think we will. You require uh, killing some crystal elites around, like, black holes and pulsars or whatever it is. Um, but we've kind of looked at most of the things. Ooh, hello. We're no longer able to discern the main body of the approaching space echoes from our own galaxy's background radiation, which can only mean one thing. They have arrived. If the size of the Vanguard is any indication, the main host of these invaders must be massive. Okay, so they are here in that sector. Right, well, let's get our construction ship on scene. Construction complete. Right, and uh, since you aren't really doing anything right now, um, please scan me all of the things. So 
So I can take advantage of that. Oh, that's all I can do. Okay, fair enough. We should also move our fleets over there now. So the first Elysian fleet should go here. The second Elysian fleet should go here. These are two uh, inhabited planets. Third Elysian fleet. Are you trying to meet up with the third? Yeah, you're about to do your jump to the third in, I don't know, however long it takes you to cool down here. We'll let you cool down. Oh, hello. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Construction ships jumping in. Can I get another leader? No, I'm maxed up my leaders right now. Okay, I removed position. Evading hostile fleet. I don't want to actually evade. I want to watch what happens. So this is... Colon load of colony ships, and they seem to be colonizing a desert world and a tropical world. They've got troops here. And this is... Oh, God, I need to... Oh, hello. That looks lovely. They're definitely Tyranids. Right, let's watch the Interstellar Menger Elite go up against them. Oh, that's quite long-range weaponry they have. Can I find out anything about them? Large Scourge Missile. Okay, so I've got point defense, so we should actually have some defenses against that. If I'm honest, it doesn't look too good for the Minjeti right now. I'm partly happy about that. Are they trying to retreat? Or are they bugging out? I believe they are bugging out. And not in the retreating kind of method. I mean, leave it actually in the method of the AI is broken. Um, you are very large. Queen class. That doesn't sound ominous. And they take damage and then they regenerate their whole points. Pretty fast, actually. There. Oh, wait. No, I was just clicking on the other one because they're, like, overlapping. Okay. You are putting a dent in them, but they are going to beat you. Probably at least part because you've done this. Although, that said, I like the look of your weapons. What weapons are you using? Plasma cannons, devastate torpedoes. Stormfire Autocan, that's probably the blue things. They look cool. And anything that gets close enough to be attacked by a Stormfire is going down pretty quick, but sadly not a lot of things are in range. Oh, hello, actually. Oh, they're turning, they're turning. They're trying to get into range of the hive ships, I think. In other news, can I build anything here? Yes. Ooh. We should take this opportunity to do a ship designer. Now, sadly, I don't have anything bigger than these. I don't have a fortress class world because I haven't really looked into it. Uh, I Not world. Um, fortress class defense base. Mainly because defense bases are kind of meh. But for now, let us set up large, large. Wait, those are not opposites. Totally confuses me. Right. Then I want you to be... We need... They use a lot of small things. That's so point defense and a medium. It doesn't look like they use shields, right? So anti-armor. It's got 100% shield penetration. Honestly, gorse cannons are probably the best thing against them. I'm not really packing gorse cannons. I mean, yeah, we use tachyons because I don't know if they've got armor or not. It's going to be a lot of energy. That's fine. Then I want, like, loads of point defense because they appear to be using missiles. So this mission was really useful. We managed to confirm exactly what they're using. Torpedoes, um, they've got great shield penetration, but again, I'm not really targeting shields. Uh, matter disintegrator. 
6.62 with armor and shield penetration. Is there anything else I'd rather use? Six point two two, but one hundred percent accuracy and a higher range. Uh, but I don't know if they have armor or not. Are oh, we gonna go for the matter disintegrators? Okay. Um, Subspace snare. Proximity mines. Fire rate. Shield regeneration. Defensive stations. Maybe good idea to have defensive stations. We can try and fight around them. And then let's auto-complete. What have you given me? Shields, 375. Armor, 54. That's probably pushing the armor pretty high. Like, if we get rid of the large, it drops 9%. And this large could be used for something a lot better. Although missiles do bypass shields loads. Okay, uh, 625 with 48. Sure, that seems reasonable. Although I'd rather have like a shield capacitor here. Okay, let's save it. Build me. Probably get murdered instantly, but we're interested to see how they face up against it. They do also appear to be using, like, large plasma cannons of some kind. Oh, is it all large scourge missiles? It can't all be large scourge missiles. Acid blast. There we go. Acid blast. I su suspect that goes through armor. So, again, probably something that's not correct against shields. So, my shield-heavy design should work. Honestly, people go, like, oh, why don't you use more armor? Because the armor sucks. Like, 90% of weapons in the game are mainly 90% of weapons. But 95% of weapons in the game that have either bypassing armor or shield bypass armor. There are only a couple of things that bypass shields, and they're defeated by other means. Um, like, there's no point going armor when you could go shields, especially when the higher tech enemies, the ones you have to fear, tend to be, oh, I can defeat armor really easily. Yeah, they defeated that pretty soon. How far we through? 50, right. First fleet is here. Uh, ooh, ooh, construction ships. Okay, you're on the wrong side of the galaxy entirely, but whatever. I'm building the uh, defense stations over here, so it's central. I don't know if we're going to get time to do this. No, we're going to have to bug out. Bugging out. Okay, well, that's been it for this episode. We have met the Prothorians. They have wiped out the Menjeti with relative ease. Um, I don't think we're going to have the same problems against them, but I might be tempted just to wait. Just let the Menjeti get hit a little bit more. And then go for the performance. It just depends how hard they're going to snowball. But I might leave it a little while to build up our defenses. Then when they hit our defenses, then we can punch back after they break across our defenses. Not that we're going to have particularly great defenses, but we'll try our best. Anyway, I've been Aaron If you enjoyed, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. We have the fourth fleet ready. Remember, the fourth fleet is actually going to be a little bit smaller. It doesn't have enough uh, cor uh, corvettes and destroyers. But until next time, we're going to break the Thorians. We're going to smash them over our legs and our knees and we're going to use their innards for, I don't know, what do you use innards for? Divining? No, we're not spiritualists. It doesn't really work. Autopsies. And we will science them. I'm not really soon. Until next time, stay shiny.